Maestro Gaming presents a Wobbly Wagon Wheel production about a nomad man. That man is the Gypsy King. Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to another Maestro Gaming production. And as you can see, we are outside the 16,000 seater SR Bank Arena to of course play Viking in our first game of today's episode. Now I did forget to do something in that massive episode you previously have watched, if you haven't previously watched, then I would go back and take that hour or so to watch the first episode. It was a long one but it was full of quite a bit. We had a little look around the club, we had some transfers, we even had two matches. Now, speaking of one of those transfers, I did forget to have a little look at his history. So we're going to have a look at his history, look at two more new additions today and get on with our first game. So we shall head on over to the stadium and get on with our first game in just a second. Right, ladies and gents, before we kick off with one of our biggest games of the season, of course, against 14th of the league, as you can see behind my big head, if it's not in the way is our transfers so like i said we've made two additional transfers now as you can see there's actually three people since last episode but one of them is a youth the youth guy is this ottenson guy 17 years old who my backroom staff recruited not very good he didn't go down very well at all with both me and the fans but our recruitment is pretty darn good so before we get into our two new additions we need to look at Marin who we brought in before he has now dropped to two and a half star that is because of the quality of the players we've brought in two and a half star three and a half star potential his history is from Ilves now he did nothing for their first team he went to their second team scored four goals in 23 games five assists two player of the matches and a 7.05 now since coming to us he's had one appearance and a 6.9 so solid little midfielder and that is his history we didn't miss a whole lot in the previous episode but as you know the previous episode was quite lengthy so it's a good job we didn't really cover that in the previous one and left it till now so the first one is the cheap one seven thousand two hundred and fifty pounds spent that is on taklo now taklo is a norwegian 24 year old zero caps zero youth caps 10.5 grand in value so we got him on the cheap he's a solid Guy can play in central defence and can also play at left back. We are, of course, recruiting him as a central defender, though. Three and a half star, four and a half star potential, right footed. Now, as you can see in his role, 15 header in, 11 on the mark in, 12 on tackling, 11 positioning. He's solid all round. Does lack a little bit of composure, I will give you that. But we can deal with that. That is something we can deal with in on £550 per week. Now, as you can see, he hasn't really played a whole lot. He was at Alessund, who, of course, I believe beat us, didn't they, in the previous episode? No, we beat them, sorry. 2-0, played five times for them, got a 6.6. .6. So, he gives us a bit more depth in that central defensive role. We then have Kutinen from SJK. Now, he's in for 78 grand, so he has to be pretty good. He is a four-star player, four-star potential, has both feet that work rather well. He is mainly going to be a left-sided midfielder for us, but as you can see, he can play on the right, and he can even play at right back. A little bit at left back, but we're not going to use him at left back, that is for sure. In fact, how good at a wing back are you? Hmm. Besides his marking, he's not too bad. So, at a push, if we need him to play wing back, I guess we play him at wing back. But for us, he is going to be a winger, maybe an inside forward. I haven't quite finished on that yet. His finishing isn't quite there. So speaking of finish, maybe not an inside forward. Probably just use him as a winger. Got nice physicals for that. His mentals are okay and he is solid technically as well. So he has been around quite a bit. Started off in Finland at BK minus 46. Played two times for them in his three seasons. Went to GRIFK, I guess. Didn't play for them. Valladolid. He went to Spain for a couple of seasons. Didn't play for them either. Went to Portugal. Didn't play for his first team. Then went to Muradal, where he played 21 games and scored twice. 
Now, after that, he decided to come to Iceland. He got zero games in the first season. He stuck around, though, for three more seasons, getting 22 games. One goal, one assist, and then another 22 games. Didn't get anything in those. 22 games the following season. Very consistent. Two goals, two assists, and he's been getting around a 6.5-ish. Up and down a little bit, but around that 6.5 mark. He then went on a free transfer to SJK, got 25 games, 3 goals, 2 assists and 0 player of the matches. Got a 6.88 rating though. In his last season, he has improved. Yes, his rating dropped a little bit, it went to a 6.76, but in terms of what he's actually done on the pitch, he got 3 goals in half as many games and 3 assists, which is more assists than the previous season in just those 12 games. So... He has big shoes to fill for that 78 grand and, well, he's not valued quite near that. He's valued at 41.5. He's on £875 per week and he's 27. He does have one cap though for Finland, so that is to be taken into account. So that is our team going into it. Now, as you can see, they are slotting straight in. So we have Olafsson in goal, Middleton at left back. Taklo and Siversen, who comes back in in central defence after his suspension. Nossen stays on the right-hand side, as you can see from this. Nossen and Middleton are very much the guys we are going to look to strengthen next. Marin, now down to a two-and-a-half star. Maybe he's the next on the list after those, but another striker would be nice. As you can see, our bench is all two-and-a-half star or above, so they are the areas I am keenly interested in improving. So, in front of them is Heimerson. Then we have Savold, Marin. On the left-hand side, of course, is Kutinen. We have Hossen on the right and Odskarg up front. Now, I'm going to change some of these names. Hossen is fine. Odskarg is decent. I'm going to struggle with this guy. Um, so, where is it? Set nickname. You, my friend, are simply going to be known as cutie no cutie thank you so much easier so we've got the cutie on the left hand side savold um savold mm, we'll keep it for now marin heimson maybe heimson is quite a mouthful sometimes siverson's okay nossen's okay olafson you know what I hate everyone having son. So, Olaf. Olaf it is in goal. I'm pretty sure I'd called a player Olaf before. Now I think about it. I'm pretty sure I did that to one of the players in a previous club. Probably when we was over in Iceland. Perhaps. I want to say Iceland. I can't remember if it's Iceland or Finland. I always get the two confused in my little brain. But that is enough rambling from me. We need to give Cutie and Taklo some numbers. So Cutie can be 19, you can be 20, why not? We don't have any good numbers to give them, so they can be 19 and 20. The important thing is how they perform here today. So let me just quickly lean over, get a sip of my drink. Before we take on these Vikings in their 4-4-2 formation. Good old classic formation from them. So, Roger Roger, I think we should try and encourage the team. Roger Roger, I'm going to passionate... Um, we owe them passionate revenge. That's what we need. Exactly. This game loves a bit of passionate revenge. So, Adam Bark is one of the best dribblers in the Premier Division. Do you have a plan to stop him? Give him a bib. No. Greta... Tranny? Trainy? Yeah, don't clip that one out of context, please. The Norwegian Football Review, devious lady, who is indifferent about us. So, he's a fine player, we have fine players too. Uh, as you play, prepare to place Vikings. Are you happy with Marin's performance as a deep line playmaker? 7.4 rating, one game? Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. Is there at the moment? Would be silly to change it. Simpson's lack of match fitness. How? I think he can last the match. I hope he can last the match. Otherwise, we're going to have to change one of our central defenders, which is not good. There has been a lot of speculation this week surrounding Kant. 
when it's who is he? Oh, some random manager. I hope they stick with him. I had no idea who he was. So I have nothing against him. Stick with him. Hopefully he does a bad job. That will help us, I suppose. Them scoring 40 odd seconds in though is definitely not going to help us and we are going attacking. I am also going to tell the lads to show some passion because a 40 odd second goal from a free kick as nice as the free kick was should not be happening. Oh my goodness we have a kick off highlight folks. This is probably not going to be good. Are we going to go 2-0 down in the first two minutes? Is that what's going to happen? Are we going to suffer early on? And have a game which we are not going to be able to come back from, only to find ourselves versing 8th in the league in the second match. Lino! Lino plays it inside. Can we please dispossess them? We need to get this ball back. Don't let them cross it in, please. Lindell, which one in? Oh my goodness. We're 2-0 down after two minutes. This game. It's punishing me, folks. It's punishing me. I should have recorded multiple games on the left. Last time I recorded, but no. It's punishing me. It's telling me you're an idiot. And I'm telling the lads that they are also idiots. Because they are. We are 2 0 down after two minutes. And that is not good in the slightest. Good for Vikings, I suppose. It gets them up to 12th. Not good for us, though, because there's a five point gap between us and the next team. Six points to the next one. And then seven to actually getting out this relegation scrap. Olaf, though, plays it short now. We are lucky in that, I believe, we play a relegation group after this. So, if we can get to that top relegation spot, there is a playoffs. So, it's not an automatic relegation, but still. And my phone won't stop vibrating. I apologize. Do I have a cloth? Not. Oh, there we go. I have a cloth I can put it on. So, that should limit. The amount of annoyance it causes. I apologise if it did vibrate quite loud into the microphone. I have no soft surfaces really to put it on though. And we are struggling. We are struggling deeply. We need to get it away. This is a rough one. Came into this cautious and we still somehow managed to concede two goals early on. It's not looking good. I'm going to yell at them. Olaf, lovely collection. That is what I expect from a guy who is still rated pretty good relative to our team. He should be at the quality of this league. And a lot of our new recruits should be. So I don't know why we are struggling this bad. But yeah. This is bad. This is looking real bad. This might be the second failure by the current state of the team. Hopefully a couple more new recruitments in defence will shore things up. I am looking... I've actually got bids in for a right back and a left back. And I believe I've got a bid in for a right... Uh, sorry, a left winger. But right now we are struggling to do anything. Vikings are 2-0 up. 16 shots to our 1. 5 to our 1. 1... Foul to our six. Zero yellow cards to zero yellow cards. 49% possession to 51. We're doing something right. We've got 51% possession. Unfortunately, one shot, one on target. Not great. Best performers is Laga Bielki for them with one goal and 7.4. And Olaf with three shots saved and 6.9 for us. Struggling to perform is Peterson with 6.7 in goal for them. And Notton with a 6.3 and 0% crossing completion ratio for us. Now, start is drawn to Aslund. That's kind of good. It's two teams dropping points, but it does mean they gain an extra point on us, both of them, at the current state. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. Not a fan at all. The performance was disappointing. You know what? Aggressively, show me something else. Roger, you were too soft, my friend. That was way worse than disappointing. That was, I want to just scrap this squad and start again, quite frankly. Yes, those sirens, that's how criminal that first half performance was. We now have sirens. 
So, Marin, look at that. 6.3. Jesus, you are disappointing me so badly right now, Marin. In fact, um, we have to get attacking. We have to get players forward. You have to get on. So... Mm. This is tricky. How do I sort the Marin problem out? I guess I can swap up his role. Would be the best solution. But actually, you like to be a playmaker, don't you? How can you perform as a playmaker? You know what? This guy is okay as a playmaker. So we shall swap him to being a playmaker. Allow you to just be a central midfielder. So that's all you want, Marin. I'll give you just a central midfield role exactly as you want it. You can't complain. We then have a couple more substitutions. Our striker's doing nothing. Unfortunately, our backup striker is not any good either. So that is an issue. QT is being underperforming right now. Hossen's underperforming. And the entire team is just... A struggle right now quite frankly QT you know what Hossen Hossen and QT are being just as useless as one another so QT go to that side be an attacking inside forward and just give us a new dynamic just give us something to work with please demand more you're apprehensive you're going to be more than apprehensive if we do not score a single goal in this game I'm not impressed by the team right now. Lino whips one in, Nossen gets it away, Marin on the counter-attack, plays it over to QT. QT, can he do anything with this? Pulls it back, perhaps? Yes, he does. Siverson just gives him the ball back. Great. QT, go win it back. Go win it back. Somebody win this ball back. Oh, come on, no. Luckily, Olaf gathers the ball, and we have averted that issue. We can't shout at the lads yet, and we have another highlight. So, someone win it back. QT from the header. He's collected the ball and stole it. Now, can he do anything with this? QT from range. Does absolutely nothing. He aims for the corner flag by the looks of it. We have another highlight, though. Peterson hoops it up. Can we win the ball back? In fact, I'm going to go all out. I know it just kills the clock. I know from experience, all that does is kill time when you're trying to get back into a game, but that's all we can really attempt to do is push up at this point. Push up and pray. Push up and pray. Cleared by Siverson though, and it is with Odeskun. Gets it over to QT. QT coming down the right hand side. Can he play a ball into the box though? Interesting approach. Very interesting considering he can use either foot. He decides to force himself onto his left foot. He's not looking like a good acquisition right now. He really isn't. He was supposed to be the man. The saviour of the team. Perhaps. Not looking like no saviour right now though. Peterson. Peterson's goal kick is intercepted. Cutie, please do something now. Ball cross field to Michaelson. Michaelson, can he get across in? No, it is blocked. And so just pulling it back and with the one in, he decides to kick it at the defender. And now they are on the counter-attack. Olaf makes yet another save. Unfortunately, though, Olaf's efforts have been to no avail with the rest of the team being absolutely useless. So, Peterson plays it upfield. Bark now coming down left-hand side. Has an overlap if he needs he uses it, Rindle Roy gets it into the box. Unfortunately, his striking partner cannot keep his header on target. So, come on, lads, just a goal, please. I'm just asking for one little goal. Not for them. We don't want a 3 0. No. We'd like a 2 1. 2 1 would make me feel a little bit better. Come on, oh, come on, don't kick it straight out of the goalkeeper. Ay, ay, ay. Norway, Norway. Norway is not fun right now. Rindleroy. Rindleroy has held up possession nicely. Plays it to Norlin. And it is now with Bergsvist. 
no to bark and well that's the end of the highlight so demand more come on lads this is depressingly bad depressingly bad especially with a potential thigh injury now to one of the defenders Cole Ay ay ay, Cole, Cole, Cole. Cole can come on. For a key member of our playing staff. Who is now off the pitch. And we're not going to be able to stick with this cautious approach. I guess allowing them to attack is just not going to work for us. We're going to have to go positive and just pray they do not destroy us at the back. Which has worked at previous pods, to be fair. But... Yeah, we've just got to go positive mentality, try and fight our way in these games, and not get absolutely smashed about like this. So, 2-0 in the end, they had 26 shots to our 9, 9 on target to our 4, 4 fouls to our 11, 0 yellow cards, 0 yellow cards, 47 even, percent possession to our 53. Best performers was Lager Bielska with one goal and an 8.1 and Olaf with seven shots saved and a 7.3. Now struggling to perform was Peterson for them in goal. Weirdly, our goalkeeper performing conceded two. Theirs was struggling and conceded zero. But QT struggled for us with a 6.2 and 0% crossing completion ratio. Now I'm not going to go through the milestones but I shall go down them just in case you wish to pause and have a look. Of course, Lagabilska was the best performer on the whole pitch. So, Roy, you should tell them we're disappointed. I'm far from pleased. That was terrible, quite frankly. Terrible indeed. As you can see, we have a couple of offers accepted. We shall have a look. Torn fine muscle. Three months. Yikes. Um... Focus on your recovery. I'll be gone by the time you come back, probably. So, yeah, I'm going to have a look at our new signings. Try and get some more in the door. Maybe even look at another centre-back, considering ours just went and got injured for three months. So, I'll see you fine folks, either for the transfers coming in or the second game of today's episode. So before we head on over to the Arason Stadion for our second game of today's episode, we have two more new arrivals. So who are these two new arrivals? Well, let's go find out. The first one is Latifi. Now, Latifi, we aren't going to rename. He comes from Gothenburg and is on loan. So Mohamed Javad Latifi is a four and a half star, five star potential very solid Iranian striker, only 22 years of age, hasn't had a cap, zero youth cap surprisingly, and is valued at 400,000. £625 per week, pretty decent. As you can see, he's an advanced forward, which is perfect for the way we are playing, and he is very well rounded in that. Struggling a bit on passing and a little bit on his work rate, both at 8, but everything else is 10 and above. Dribbling being a 10, everything, oh sorry, technique is also a 10. Everything else, though, surpasses that and is a minimum of 12, I believe. Yes, 12 for everything else. So what is his history? Because he's only 22 years of age, he's only been at Gothenburg for both of his seasons. Played zero times first time. Did play nine times second time, though. Got three goals, one assist, zero player of the matches, and a 6.84. So, solid little striker, currently developing, and hopefully he can develop even more here. We then have our second edition. Now, our second edition is very much on the other side of the spectrum. He's an older gentleman coming in for 2.6k from SJK. Yet again, the same place we got Cutie, in fact. Paid a little bit more for Cutie, though. Johnny Kauko. And Johnny Kauko is a defensive midfielder. Now, we didn't desperately need a defensive midfielder. We definitely need a centre-back, that is for sure. I am tempted, in fact, to play him at centre-back. Now I've noticed he can cover in that spot. Because, as you can see, let's just get that on defensive. He's a solid defender. Lacks pace, lacks some strength. But besides that, his numbers are amazing. So he might be slotting in at defence. Now I've just noticed that. But his primary role is as a ball-winning midfielder. So, as a ball-winning midfielder on defensive, he is well-rounded. 
pace and agility because of his age do lack but everything else is amazing aggression he might break some legs with that aggression but his teamwork and work rate is solid so where has he been well in his 35 years he's made 13 caps for finland 23 under 21 caps and three goals for them 1.2 grand a week 13.5 is only in for a season so it was very much a case of just splash a little bit of cash bring in a solid guy who's been around three and a half star three and a half star potential like i said he's retiring at the end of the season he doesn't mind he's just here for one season of helping us survive i suppose so he started off at fc inter he was there for a long time stayed from 04 to 12 not going to go through all his seasons because we will be here all day he then went to Lati on a free transfer played nine games for them he then went to germany for three seasons had two in frankfurt went to cotton bus and well he had solid seasons 27 games 21 games and three goals 34 with four he then had 21 appearances one goal for randers in denmark he stayed there for one more season got 28 appearances and two this man definitely gets about he then went on a free transfer to esterberg where he spent five seasons where he racked up quite a few games he only scored a couple of goals for them but he got plenty of game time went on a free transfer then to finland where he played for sjk now played 11 games for them two assists two player of the matches 7.5 in his first season then did absolutely nothing as he was dropped to what i assume is their second team before coming back to the main team playing three games one assist one player of the match 6.97 so he's been playing okay he just hasn't been given the game time he's definitely going to get that here that is for sure so that is our two new additions but i'm going to go head on over to their stadium where i'll see you fine folks for the second game of today's episode okay ladies and gents welcome to the eleven and a half thousand seater arasan stadium for our second game of today's episode now i am obviously nowhere near this stadium the stadium is behind the tree behind me and that is because it's weird on Google Maps. The whole thing is surrounded by shops and, well, the entrance, I believe, is through a tunnel behind that tree. So, without further ado, I'm going to head on over to the stadium and get on with today's game. Right, so it's almost kickoff time in our second game of today's episode. Of course, we had to take our centre-back out because of his injury, which is going to keep him out for a few months. So, our team for today's game is Olaf in goal, of course. Middleton at the left-hand side of defence. He's joined by Taklo, our new addition. Cole coming in off the bench. We then have Nossen on the right side of defence. Kauko slides straight into defensive mid with Sujavold up in front of him even. Marin in front of him. Marin, speaking of which, was actually threatened by Kauko's addition to the squad. He came to me chuntering going, I wonder if I'm going to get game time now he's here. I told him to battle it out and play for playing time and well, he didn't like that. So, I was tempted to drop him but I go with the best players. So, Marin, you have managed to squeeze in. If I can manage to get in a lone player to cover his spot though, he might be a new addition but he might also get dropped to the bench we then have cutie on the left hand side horson on the right and of course latifi the new addition up front our amazing iranian striker hopefully he can get some goals today so on the bench is olsen avrov brevik we have michelson forstrom honigvag and odskog so without further ado let's head into the dressing room roger roger thinks we should tell the team that Pressure is off? Really? Hmm. You know, passionately. We're underdogs. Go out there and cause an upset. That's what I want to see, lads. Baby and Edda of goal, an enthusiastic fellow with no relationship to us, even though he stalks us around the entire planet. The, uh, the absence... Yes, of course it's sure to be felt. I'd rather have him available, but I believe in who I have today. How much of a boost is, I mean, anything we're missing, they've got suitable replacements. They're eighth in the league. We are bottom of the league and well and truly bottom of the league. So they have suitable replacements, at least for playing a team of our caliber. They can deal with one or two injuries. In fact, we could hope for them to have a few more, please. 
please. We are missing our arguably best defender. Like, a little bit of luck. Can we please just get some good luck, Lilstrom? Lads, don't be nervous. I'm going to praise you like I should. That's overwhelmed, Cutie. Cutie does not like praise. I don't know why, because with a name like Cutie, you should really enjoy some praise, but he doesn't. So, it's nil-nil at halftime. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. We are playing 8th in the league. They're a solid side. Four shots to our three. Two on target to our one. One foul to our three. One yellow card to one yellow card. 52% possession to our 48. Now, the best performer for them is going to be a fun one to try and pronounce. It's Oddemax Bakken. Oddemax Bakken. As hard as it looks. 6.8 and 85% passing completion ratio. For us, it's Savold with his 100% passing completion ratio and a 6.9. Struggling to perform is home for them with a 6.4 and 0 overall chances. And Hossen with 0% crossing completion ratio and a 6.4. Also, a little bit of random news, but Waslin Beveren has been a pain in my backside. I was looking at new additions for the team and they actually acquired one of the players in the position I was after really irritating so yeah that is a bit of side news for anyone who's interested in previous clubs roger thinks we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts you know what i do although we should be playing better come on lads um i'm not happy with your performance i'm happy with the current scoreline but your performance is another thing we have the ball though and it's thrown in middleton has the ball back now, can we get anything going? Calco, ball over to Marin, plays it over to Hossen. Both of them lining up pretty nicely. Nossen gets the ball now. Oh, Nossen, you had space. You had time. You did nothing with it. Cole wins it back, though. Plays the ball straight back to their defender. And they are back on the attack. Coming down left-hand side is Bengerson. Bengerson can get dispossessed. Come on, win the ball back off them. Tossland, now in possession, plays it to Ezra. Ezra back to Tottenham and a ball over the top. Lovely interception, but it's headed down to their player. Luckily for us, the shot has gone wide, though. Come on, lads. We can win this. Or at least get something out of it. The draw wouldn't be too bad, I suppose. But this does give a game in hand to the teams above. So, Middleton collects the ball, plays it to Kauko. Kauko now plays it to Marin. Marin, lovely ball over to the left-hand side where Latifi is. Latifi whips one in, doesn't get to a play, but Savold wins it, plays it to Marin. Marin's dispossessed. It's a ball over the top to home. Marin, please don't make... Oh, lovely block. That was absolutely beautiful. Was that Cole? Yes, it was. Cole, the man coming in as cover, was on our bench. He's showing why he should be starting, folks. Headed away by Cole. Oh no, lovely save by Olaf though, beautiful Olaf, that is what we like to see. We are 60 minutes deep and it is time for substitutes. So, who is lacking today? Now, Latifi has a yellow card, he's our best player though, we need to leave him out. Got to give him the opportunity to try and do something. Middleton, he's struggling. I don't know who I want to take off if I'm honest with you folks. I'll guess our wing backs are struggling but I don't want to mess with the defense that's the problem I don't want to mess with our defense and it come back to bite us so what do you want to do what would you like to be when you grow up Mr. Forstrom you would like to be a playmaker you don't mind dropping deeper so Marin you can go off my friend we have a playmaker he's going to be advanced and he's going to play in support we then I guess Cutie is struggling. Cutie, could you perhaps go inside forward support? We then can... You know what? I think we're just single sub. I know our team's struggling, but we're playing a much better side. We're not doing too bad. We'll just have the one substitute in the middle of the field. Try and get things going. Hopefully... We can get something going with this. Nossen throws it into Latifi. Now back to Nossen. Lovely wall into the middle for Cutie. Cutie can't get to it. It is cleared away. And they look to come down the right hand side. Get a tackle in, please. Middleton. No, Middleton. Come on, Olaf. Save us, Olaf. <gasps> that finishing saved us. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. I don't claim to be a professional footballer, but I could have probably done better. It is headed down by Cutie though. We have possession. Forstrom tries to play it over to Savold. Savold 
interesting approach, I must say. And it is Bengston running straight through the defence. I thought Olaf had got that. I really thought Olaf had got that. That was unfortunate. That was terrible defending by Nossen. Which led to that. Nossen, you're off, my friend. I'm sorry. You're off. We cannot be having that. And now we just have to pray that we can somehow go and get a goal. Just go out there and get a goal, lads. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. All out attack. Throw yourselves upfield. We've got six minutes, five minutes, four minutes. Come on, lads. Demand more. I know it's a lot to ask. They've got a free kick. They're playing it short. Somebody win possession back. You can't give him that much space. Luckily, Olaf's in goal. This team. This team is really frustrating. I must say. I don't know what to do with them. I really don't know what to do with them. I just want to shake them. I really just want to shake them. I bring in good players. These are supposed to be good players. They don't do anything though. And we have narrowly lost a game we could have possibly got something from. 1-0 here at Lillstrom. They got 13 shots to our 5. 5 on target to our 3. 2 fouls to our 14. 1 yellow card to 2 yellow cards. 52% possession to our 48. Best performers was Bengston for them with an 8.3 and 1 goal. But as was Sebald, he got a 98% passing complete ratio and a 6.9. Now struggling to perform was Ari Marin for us with a 6.4, showing why we should replace him for moaning at us. We then have Gromley with a 6.4 for them and no reason for it. A few different milestones today, the key one being the 35-year-old Kauko become the oldest player by 287 days to ever play for us. So he's going to be making records as the season goes on. Because we are not going to be hiring anyone older, I don't think. And player of the match, of course, goes to Leo. So, Roger, who should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. You know what, lads? I'm going to give you a confidence boost here. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to get aggressive. I'm not happy, lads. I'm going to throw hair dryers, and I'm going to do that every single match we fail to win. I don't care if we're playing top of the league or bottom of the league. Although we can't play bottom of the league because we are bottom of the league. But you get my point. If we are playing someone good, playing someone bad. If we manage to mess it up, then I am going to yell at the lads. As you can see, I slam the team. And that's... Ooh, what's this? Moulds manager as... Huh. Suggested be checking on the progress of Middleton. Ah, I didn't realise he was from Mould. The English... Left back, who's currently two and a half star now. As you can see, I ended quite a few trials. Brought a few players in who were free agents. Just to have a little look at them. There is a few nice prospects. Hence why you have not seen them quite yet. I might be bringing in two or three free transfers. But that's going to have to wait till the next episode. Which will be kicking off at home against Sog Nadal. And then going away to start. And as you can see from the league position, start is going to be a massive game. We lose to start, we are basically screwed. But I thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye.